Okay, what is up guys, it's Neil from Acute Gaming and today I'm going to be doing another PHP object oriented programming tutorial for you. God, that's a mouthful. But uh, yeah, today I'm going to be going over extends once again, as we did in the last tutorial, which if you haven't looked at yet, I really suggest you do look at all the past tutorials actually, because you aren't going to understand this if you don't. But yeah, today I'm going to be going over extends and if you did watch my tutorial a few times back. We did about public, protected, and private, and what they do in our uh, classes and things like that. Well, I'm going to be going over that, going over that in a bit more detail today, and how that affects our extends keyword and all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, in my PHP script, I'm going to go ahead and start us off by creating a class. I'm going to call it Hello. I don't know why, I just feel like calling it hello. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, before I forget, uh, I have a new recording software thingy. So hopefully this should be in better video quality anyway. I'm not sure about audio quality because I still have to use this shitty mic. But hopefully it should be better video quality. And yeah, back on topic. We have our class, hello. And inside our class, we're going to make a public property called one. And we're going to set that to this is property1. I'm going to make a private property called 2 and set this to this is property2 and I'm going to make a third one which is going to be protected and you guessed it I'm going to call it 3 and make that echo or make that equal to rather this is property3 surprise surprise and that's all I want to do with a class right now. But we are going to create a second class. We're going to call it world and have it extending from hello, as we did in the last tutorial. But uh, you would expect it to copy everything from hello into world, as it did in the last tutorial. But uh, the difference is, it will. Um, I'm not sure if it'll. I'm not sure to say if it'll only copy the public one. But it's a little more confusing than that. But for now. Actually, I'll, I'll just give you an example. We'll have it. We'll create a new instance of our class. Uh, we'll call it World and set it to New World. And this is going to create a new instance of a World class, which we would expect to take everything from the Hello class and copy it over. But it is not going to do that. Echo. What are we echoing? We're echoing World One, which is this right here. And we would expect it to echo this is property one. So let's try that right now. Refresh. It echoes this is property one. That's fine. That's a public property. It can be accessed anywhere. There's no problem with that. But if then we try to echo number two, which is this is property two, if I refresh, undefined property. And this is because we defined number two as private, which means it can't be seen in any other classes other than this one. So, uh, yeah, it can't be seen anywhere else except in the hello class. It's, it's PHP doesn't even acknowledge its, its existence outside of the hello class. As we see in the error message, it says it's completely undefined. It doesn't even know it's there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's number two done. And then we have number three, which is protected. And if we refresh, Fatal error cannot access protected property. Now, here's the thing: it cannot access the access the protected property because we're trying to access it outside of the class. If we try to make a function inside our world class called show text with no arguments and have that echo number three. Uh, refresh. Did I call the function? No, I didn't. If we call the function world show text, see if that and refresh. What am I doing? God damn it. Refresh. It says this is property three. Uh, now, to explain why it does that, protected properties are the same as private in the sense that they can't be accessed outside of the class. So if we tried to access uh, protected property 3 outside of the class here, 
outside of the extend class rather, it would give us an error. But because we're using the function to access it inside the class and then calling that function outside, it works fine, if you understand what I mean. It's a little bit of a confusing concept, but just think of it like this. Private can't be accessed anywhere outside of hello. Uh, protected can be accessed in hello and world, but nowhere else. And our public one can be accessed everywhere, if that makes sense. I think that's a more easier way to explain it. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to public, protected, and private. And so say you wanted to store sensitive information, credit card details, things like that, on your site while they're being transferred and worked with and all that stuff, you would use maybe private because then it can't be accessed from anywhere and we can't have it like leaking out anywhere or have any problems like that. So yeah, I think that's all I have to explain this time. As always, leave me a comment or send me a message if you need any help and I will get around to that as soon as I can. But uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.